Guys, welcome back. I couldn't hear you over the meow. Yeah, he's so loud. He just ate. Chris, I fed him while I was on the break. I fed both of them. Both of these pets are well fed. Uh, today, we're going to be playing a little game from the 90s called Don't Wake Daddy. Just kidding. We're going to be playing this Abzan little kid list. And it's got Siege Rhinos and Wiltleaf Leashes on the top end, which is gas. It's got Anafenza and Knight of Autumn and Thalia on the twos. It's got Thalia and Gadok Teague at the twos. I say three. I meant threes. <coughs> and then it's got Dryad Militant, Noble Hierarch, Birds of Paradise, and Path to Exile. This is basically like a green-white Death and Taxes list because you have Dryad Militant, you have Thalia, you have other Thalia, you have Anafenza, you have Knight of Autumn. You have a lot of these very disruptive creatures. Only they're all very huge, unlike the two twos and uh, two ones of Death and Taxes in general. So I'm actually excited to see how this deck does. Let's find out. Abzan, little kid. But like, it's like green white hay bears, but like some of the bears aren't bears. <clears throat> some of them are little old weirdos. Some of them, the, most of these are humans actually. There's a lot of humans in the deck. Human, elf knight, kithkin. There's actually two, like two humans in the deck, I guess. Dryad and Dryad. Rhino is in a class by itself. Elf knight. Kithkin Advisor, Human Soldier. Soldier can also go with Dryad. So we can name Soldier, hit Dryad, Dryad. We can name Human, hit Thalia and Anafenza. <clears throat> and Soldier. Actually, Soldier hits all of these. Dryad hits Militant and Knight of Autumn. Knight is by itself. Human also hits this guy. There's like a little bit of overlap, but not a ton. Anyway, don't 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 wake daddy, guys. It's just not what you wanna. It's a zany action, a crazy contraption. It's Mike B. I don't know if that was supposed to be like Mousetrap or not, but I just, I mean, I figured it could be any, really any sort of 80s commercial that you wanted it to be. This hand seems good. I'm going to get an Overgrown Tomb because it lets us cast this, and we also have <clears throat> Noble Hierarch for the white. Um, so we'll see. <clears throat> Uh, let's go Crackalaka. <sighs> Maybe we just don't care. Maybe we just gotta, I think we just gotta Temple Garden instead, actually. I don't want to risk it. Because if we do, if if they kill this, we just have no turn to play. I guess we could play this, but I'd rather just play Thalia next turn. So. Okay, okay. Hello, Mr. Frank. That's a very, yeah, that's a very, uh... It's on brand for your Matrix theme here. A zany contraption. Do I want to attack with this? No, I just want to get dudes on the board. 
but your money's on the floor. So I think we want to have Thalia countered last. Do you ever build decks from scratch? Like, I want to build a deck around Gift of Immortality. I literally built a deck from scratch. That's what I did for the first two hours of this stream, Mossy Bread. Got him. <clears throat> that's old Mossy Bread. How many lands are in this deck? 23? That's that's solid. With four birds, four, four noble hierarchs and like three birds, I think. Yeah, that seems fine. Dang, well, heck. Shoots. Butter my biscuits. Butter them. Butter my biscuits. <coughs> Are you going to counter this again? I can't live like this. Okay. Fascinating. This tells me this should resolve. Oh, what is... oh, they didn't actually have a land to put into play. That's great. Oh, I feel like you should have opted first to try to hit that land. If I come visit, we're smashing those glasses with a bat off his style. Oh, no. Why? <clears throat> Chris, you're totally going to wear these. This is modern, not legacy. Come on, spaghetti toucher. Get it together. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Thalia's a hell of a drug. See, we still don't have a black mana for the Siege Rhino, but, you know, that's life. We could play Gadok Teague here. Or we can actually put Knight of Autumn on the board. Because they can't Damnation next turn. I guess they could just go Fatal Push into Damnation, which is pretty rough. I think we just put Teague on the board here. Moaner of a homely fart. Loner of a monly bart. Kitty cat, you're so dang loud. God, you sound like a... You need Jesus, kitty cat. Kitty cat Jesus. Mow. Actually, this is a weird position. I don't know why it's like. Is that better? All right. <clears throat> Owner of a lonely mow. <laughs> well, that's not the land we're looking for. Hey, what's the sound Little Man makes? Mow. Are you going to Snapcaster? And then you're going to get an Opt back? Hey, buddy.
Okay. <laughs> I think they tried to opt but then they're like, oh wait, it hasn't resolved yet. Alright, well, they can't play cards that cost a million. And everything costs one more. My cat is also meowing. I blame little man. God, little man, you're such a little biscuit. We won the game. This is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so what we're what we're doing here. How many how many black sources do we have? We've got a Godless Shrine, two overgrown tombs. And then eight fetch lands, so like 11. That's a good amount. All right, we're definitely bringing in voicey, voicey boys. We're definitely bringing in collective brutes. Uh, Wilt Leafly. I'm going to take out the paths. I don't think Wilt Leafly is actually great here. This seems good. Like, we're bringing in four creatures. We're taking out four Whitley Fleeches. He's got one in a Fenza. Um, actually, probably can leave the Anafenza. Probably taking out this Dally is better. However, I do, I like the actual... I like, I like the mix here. One and, one and two. Because I don't want to draw three. I don't want to draw multiple Anafenzas, I guess. Mm, but maybe we just want to take this out for a Whitley Fleege. Because I think it's just probably pretty good. Yeah, all right, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, God, time to go home. Space on the clock. Bye, Chris, have a good night, buddy. I'm sure I'll see you soon, Moan Frere. I will keep this hand. <clears throat> Can we make a Noble Hierarch that does Abzan colors or Saltai colors? That would be gas. Like an Ignoble Hierarch. Is that the word I'm looking for? Ignoble? Yeah, that's a good word. It could be a cycle. You could have a Noble Hierarch for every three color combination that includes green. If I had a million dollars. I'm just going to play this as a 4-3. I came here to watch magic, not learn vocab words. Well, but the magic still exists. The magic is all around us. Do, 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 do. Rattleclaw is the Teamer Hierarch, but it only it costs two, not one. So we have Teamer and Bant. No, you got it. Do we have Abzan or Sultai? 
I think those are the only other two combinations, right? But the magic is what we learned along the way. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Oh yeah, because one has morph, one has exalted. I could see, I could see what's going down here. There is not one Brimaz. Interesting. Not Vine Mystic. <clears throat> Fascinating. Hey, we're playing Legacy today, we're playing Modern today, and we're playing Who Knows today. The format the format known as Who Knows. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think this is enough. I don't really want to throw another bird out there in case they go like damnation. I could definitely see a tracker in this deck for sure. It's a nice way to refill your hand. Yep, that's why we kept this second night. Hold on to the second night. <clears throat> do, do you have it? Why are you like this? Ay, ay, ay. So now, because we drew the Gavany Township, I'm just going to play this bird. This deck is weird. Do they have Damnation? It doesn't even look like they have Damnation. they got to consume the Meek in the sideboard and one Black Sun Zenith. They can, they can Mystical Teachings for the Consuming the Meek, but I guess we don't have that much to be afraid of. Classic T. Smith. So like him. He always has the cryptic command. This guy, let me tell you something about when, we, when me and T. Smith were in college, man. Every night this guy would have a cryptic command. It's un It was unbelievable. We were like, hey, buddy, you might have a problem. And he was like, just college, man. This is how we do. And I was like, dang, he's right. It is just college. That is how he do. I was like, hey, man, what are you doing tonight? And he's like, I'm going down to the quad, and I'm going to counter. Oh, yeah, and then what? And he's like, then I'm going to draw. And I was like, oh, my God, get out of here, dude. Every night, look, and they got it. They literally, they did the exact thing we were talking about. Frank Close Mountains, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Lucky number 13 for Frank's luckiest basic land. Just beautiful. Oh, it untapped all their land, so they can play it immediately. I'm done. I'm done. There's this one time, seriously, it was crazy. He was like, I'm a counter draw all at once. And we were like, whoa. And I was like, oh man, this guy is a maniac, dude. Whew, God. That guy was crazy, dude. You know, that's it was college though, man. That's what you did. Sometimes you counter, sometimes you draw. T Smith though? Dude would do it both at once. Couldn't keep up, man. He was he was living his best life for sure, man. Just living that best life. I'm a joded in drawing cards. I hope I'll be in the video. <laughs> you mean like in the future? 
You mean like, like, your, like for your career? I am majorly embarrassed by my typo. Me too, buddy. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Don't counter this. You got a spell snare? No, you got an opt. More like, more like crapped. Get it? You don't get it. It was confusing. I understand. What's going on, majotes? <laughs> Oh, it's just, we're just hanging out with Mama Jotes. Hey, he, hey, T. Smith, how's it? Oh my God, Cryptic Command. God, you can't even get a, a word in edgewise with this guy. He's just always like, hey, buddy. How do you feel? About, can I, you mind if I counter and draw a little bit? And I'm like, I mean, I guess so. Do what you got to do, you know? Boy, Gattic T really shuts down there their life I really want to crack this horizon canopy to try to find a land that'd be pretty gas right are you going to give me something for free oh boy that's good give it to me yeah if you counter an opt does that mean you stopped their opt it does mean that actually I just showed you maybe at the pre-release for War of the Spark on my, my... Really? Is that true? My god. You Logan guys. Are you a Logan guy? Is that where I'm going? Am I going to Logan? I don't even know. All I know is I'm flying into Salt Lake City. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can put you to two at this exact moment. I am a Logan guy. Nice. I was a big fan of that movie you guys did called Logan. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Where do I normally pre-release? Uh, in my own state. In Florida. <clears throat> uh, Short Stops is definitely one of my... Um, one of my preferred stores. Since I'm actually writing for Cool Stuff now, I wonder if I should just go to Cool Stuff for pre-releases in the future. Um, Alright, I'm going to play Noble Hierarch. I'm going to put you to two. And I'm going to keep this Teagles in my hand. I'm going to keep Jiminy Teagles in my hand. Because then we get to... Like, if you tap out to kill our guys... The, the, yeah, the cool stuff in Tampa is great, actually. It's a really nice store. Think you'll get in for free? I mean, they don't have an entry... They don't have a door charge. You can... Most, most game stores you can just go to for free. They don't actually... They don't actually charge you to get in. Oh my god. This is just... This is just... This This is just brutal. Five. This is still nine because you gave me another guy by countering this gentleman. <laughs> Got him. Hey, you want to come hang out for the FNM? Five dollars. Oh, the FNM is only five dollars. No, the FNM is ten, but it costs you also five dollars to get into the store. Oh, this is a real racket. Giant face haunts my daytime now. Oh well, you deserve it. My only complaint about CSI Tampa is it is for sure a CSI branded. That's my complaint with a bunch of stuff in Florida where you're like, oh, it's called Tampa, but it's actually in Temple Terrace. Oh, it's actually in West Chase. Oh, it's actually in, like, like everything is just a... But, I mean, like, Brandon is... I mean, it's pretty much just Tampa, right? Like, if something's like, oh, it's in Pinellas Park. I'm like, no, that's just St. Pete, dude. Just call it St. Pete. Oh, you're in Dunedin? That's Clearwater, man. Just stop. Maybe it's Palm Harbor, depending on where you want to draw the lines. They're at two. So even if they, like, wipe the board, we get to voice of resurgence which is pretty cool but if they wipe the board during our turn it's worse that's sad 
But we also get to collect... Oh, we just have collected brutality. All we have to do is hit a black source, right? Come to Arizona. Most of it is considered Phoenix. I thought the state was called Phoenix. So, that makes sense. My friend is in Clearwater right now. Oh, that's, he's just talking about me, guys. That's adorable. Thank you, buddy. All right, that's pretty good. Because now we just get to... I'm going to attack first. They don't actually have double black, so... Oh, are they going to... What are they... Are they a cryptic command? Oh, they're cryptic commanding. They're not cryptic commanding. They're cryptic commanding. Cryptic command. And then I'm going to collect a brutality. Oh, cryptic command. Take me by the hand. Blood land. Oh, cryptic command. It's it's to the tune of Ocean Man. Cryptic command. Duh. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, no, oh, dang it. I was going to siege Rhino because that's just classier. It doesn't matter. We're going to escalate, though. Why? I don't know, man, because I just like having a good time. Get him. Get him. I'm going to say good games back because I assume this guy is going to say good games. You better good games me. You better good games me. Good games me. They haven't done it yet. Oh, we got it. We did it. We got the g -gems. That's what it's called, the g -gems, right? That's totally normal. That's a totally normal thing to call it. Yeah, but see, I would never just good game someone by uh, without... I would I would prep it. I'd prep the GGs because that's just efficiency. But I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go ham fist and be like, Hey, man, I'm going to good games you first because good lord, man. That's classy. That's unclassy. Ig, ig classy. As the kids say. <sighs> Ocean. Oh, we didn't even actually enter the queue, but we didn't enter the queue because there was no one in there, so. I've achieved many, many cheesesteaks already. I need to aim higher. How high do you think you would... It's like the Michael Scott one. He's like, you have no idea how high I can fly. Since Apostle Meat is only available for commercial distribution, I have my father-in-law looking to get a sample of some for his Tetch Kitchen, a.k.a. he would order it and then give it to me. Oh, that's not... that. My jealousy of that is real. Hold on a second. Yeah, we'll sneak this off, my dude. You too. See, this time I do want to get it because now we can play NFNs on turn three. No, we can't because it's Gavity Township Biscuits. Oh, I really want to get a black source. I don't think we're just going to get a black source anyway because we can still play Dried Militant. And we need any uh, white source overgrown tomb. Yes. I will say yes, and I will play Noble Higher Arch.
Land. Well, Thalia is pretty okay, actually. I do not hate a Thalia. Oh, Thalia. Play Dryad Militante. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 What's happening right now? Somebody's gonna die. No one's dead? Okay. That's good. That's good. I don't really want to play anything else into this. Because they could just go Path to Exile the Thalia and then board wipe us, which is pretty sad. I feel like no one wins there, right? Can't play Anafenza. Could just play a bird? We could play... It's basically true. It's basically the same art. So it's like this. Same thing. Oh, biscuits. I'm going to risk it for the bird. I think it's worth being able to drop a siege around on next turn, maybe. Oh, alright. Well, they didn't kill Thalia, which is nice. Wow, I will dominate. Nice. That's a that's a nice meme. Solid meme, my friend. Why do you call it pizza? Why not call it Chicago style casserole? Cause let's be real, that's what we're that's what we're talking about, right? What are we getting here? A white? Let's get a white. And let's windmill slam a siege rhinoceros down on the ground I mean they're probably going to supreme verdict right because that, that's what they do that's just what they do oh yeah they're like yes I have my fourth land so I can wipe your board oh no hmm fascinating fascinating I was not expecting that well, I guess we'll five you here. Would you recommend a good week vacation in Florida? That's a good question. Dave, you could just come to Clearwater and we can just stream all week and be uh, social justice warrior cucks or whatever they whatever we're called, <laughs> whatever the internet would call us, whatever the the vile reaches of the internet would refer to us as. All right, so what are you doing now? Uh, tap all dudes, draw a card. We have enough threats on the board, so I'm probably just going to add counters to all my gentlemen. If we could play Siege Rhino, I would, but... But we are Facebook friends. You even messaged me once. I messaged you once? Just out of the blue? I was like, hey, guy. How are you doing? I actually I got a message. Someone's trying to buy this chair that I'm selling, the Aaron, the Herman Miller Aaron. And uh, he was like, hey, man. So that you had this chair for, for sale. Um, how do you know this guy? Because I was actually deployed with him in the military in, like, Germany or something. And I was like, you know what, man? Honestly, I don't know that person. He probably friend requested me because I do a lot of magic stuff. And he was like, I gotcha. And I was like, okay. Okay, well... I got a lot of bad boys here. 
Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they cryptic command you? Man, they can't cryptic command, right? Giga drows. Patriot Act. Gonna tap all my gentlemen. I think my birds are just getting in there for dose now. Because this is nice because now our siege runner just wins us the game. I don't really have to play anything else right now, so this is. Giga Drouse, I barely know her. Giga Drouse is grass type. Wow. We won the game. God, we're so good at this game. You know what else is good against this deck? Voice of Resurgence. Uh, Thalia can leave. One Anafenza can go. Brutality and Thought Seizes are nice. Paths are pretty rough. So long, Pathy boys. Oh, and we'll take out three of these again. This seems just like pretty standard. What are they playing? They played Exhaustion? What was the other card we saw? There was a card that kind of gave away their... Their archetype? Thank you. Oh, Swamp Dog, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Always a pleasure, my friend. I was talking you up earlier. I was like, Swamp Dog is awesome, dude. I rarely see him in the stream, but he's always super supportive. Thalia is great against everything. She's just so special. Oh, double Thalia? Sweet. Sweet, sassy, molassy. I watched the VOD, the whole thing? Actually, it wasn't that, it wasn't that long, I guess. I couldn't beat I couldn't beat a, a Rakdos charm for thirteen thousand damage. It was my greatest flaw. Boom 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 boom. I have to let me set my alarm now because otherwise I'm not going to wake up for this haircut on Saturday. Saturday. Well, it feels like Saturday to me right now. I'm going to say 10:30 a.m. God, that's so early. Oh wow, I can set my I've never actually changed my alarm sound. Hold on, let me I'm going to do repeat. Even though it's just going to be Saturday. One day and 13 hours from now. Deal. I guess we're just going to get in there. Alarm stream. It is an alarm stream now. Guys. How does this deck deal with one Thalia, let alone two? Scoop it up. Hmm. Right, I guess we figured it out. Any order. Wah, wah, wah. That was sad. Oh, that's a good one, though. Buddy, I got Thalia's for days.
Wow, that was pretty rude. I didn't know that was the thing I was supposed to be playing around. Well, that's awkward. Well, they have no white sources, which is nice. I am fat. <laughs> oh, God. Gaddock McTeagles. Oh my god, that's it. They're like, well, I can't even take turns anymore. That's gas. Oh man, this deck is sweet. This deck is sweet. This deck is sweetie boy going to the corner store, am I right? Uh, yeah, I'm right. You don't have to... You don't need to answer all that. I'm gonna guess. I guess I'm keeping this, like it is. I don't really feel like I don't see need to change anything yet. You know, man, Bird of Paradise. They're like Blood Moon, and I'm like, have you even seen a Bird of Paradise before? Oh no, I can't find the deck. Abzan, look at little kid Abzan is why I'm calling it little kid Abzan. I'm looking for Abzan. It's actually fine. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I hope they play Liliana of the Veil. Boy, do I hope they play Lil Liliana of the Veil. Just play the Liliana of the Veil. I dare you. Dang it, they're not going to play it. I thought they. I thought we were had an agreement. I mean, we didn't. Oh, that doesn't... I don't care about that at all. Is Valakut? Cinderglade says Valakut to me, my dude. That was a good draw. So they're probably just going to be like, Anger of the Gods, and I'm just going to be like, Oh my god. I guess we can be like, Don't have Anger of the Gods? I don't know. I mean, I give you a turn. I give you a turn. You gotta have land anger in hand. Come on, don't do it. I don't wanna look. Cool. That was a cool three for one. I've never actually seen them not have it.
Sure. Let's get a temple graden. Oh, uh, let's actually gain four because uh, if we're above 18 life, it makes Valakut have to get an extra land. So we're going to gain the four life. Sure. I mean, see, it would, it would have died anyway from a lightning bolt, so I'm okay with it. So now, do it again, do it again, do it again, just keep doing it again. See, now a lightning bolt takes us down to 18, so I'm just going to gain four more life just in case they have a lightning bolt. And now we're just like way out of range of Valakut. They have the, like eight lands instead of seven, I think. Well, that's pretty good. I'm probably just going to play Whitley Fleege here. I'm actually going to get a basic land as well. Alright. it's a lot of power on board. Another Whitley Fleege is like 12 damage here, so that's pretty strong. We're probably still dead. I mean, this deck doesn't make me feel good about anything, so... That's a yikes for me, dog. Do you get a Valakut and a mountain? Or do you get two two mountains? It's gotta be two mountains, otherwise you can't like you gotta get two mountains kill this, right? What's my favorite tofu dish? I don't really have a favorite tofu dish. Any dish that you substitute tofu in is totally fine with me. I like pad thai, I like pad CU. Uh, I'll pretty much eat tofu in any like any dish that the tofu is either seasons correctly or has a good good enough accompanying flavors. I think it's totally just fine. Okay, so now you kill the lily fleege. Oh. One to the face and one to the Night of Autumn. That's interesting. Alistair Kane, have a good night, buddy. So they attack, they get two lands. They can get up Valakut and another one. They deal a six to this guy. We take six. They go to eight. I mean, if they just have escape shift, we're dead, right? Trying to hit 3,000 calories a day. Jeez. No, I'll escape shift. You can't do it with one. Oh, there we go. Now I got the two green. 
If there's another primeval titan. No, nope, this is just this is a scape shift. They're gonna pay it all. I want it all. Yeah. The awkward thing is like, um, yep, done. Yeah, the awkward thing is like, if they anger of the gods, we actually don't get voice tokens. Uh, creatures are non basic lands. They're going to come to play tapped anyway. I don't really care about that. Well, Leaf Leash is great, but it's been a little slow. Dryad Melton is okay, but I'd rather have Thoughtseize. I'd rather have Collective Brutality. Maybe one trophy for the stupid Primeval Titan. It's got a bird. I got two birds actually. Ah, I got a hierarch. Um, also, Assassin's Trophy can hit Valakut, which is relevant. Put a little birdhouse in your soul, not to put too fine a point on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. What's documentary now? I don't think I even know what that is. <laughs> Guys, tell me what I should write about next week for my Cool Stuff article. This week I talked about Jun Demons, which you can check out on CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, and uh, if you use promo code FRANK5, you'll get 5% off your order. So definitely use that promo code if you're going to order from Cool Stuff. And you should because they're a great company. I'm probably not going to write about these nuts, I don't think. But I am looking for article suggestions cuz I uh I don't have anything on the, in the queue. Steaming pile of crap, the best deck in modern. I don't know if I'm really uh Is that is that a deck? Here Precinct 1 is actually good in every color combination. I'm not sure if that was a troll suggestion or not, but it's actually not bad. I'm Frank Five, part of the Franksons Five. Wow. Do, 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 do. Oh, the steam pile of crap. The the warship deck. Yeah, that was a good one. That was solid, James. It wasn't it wasn't that solid, I'm gonna be honest with you. Not to put too fine a point on it. Uh Hopefully I'll catch you guys again. I will dom dominate. Thank you so much, man. Have a good night. Put a little birdhouse in your soul. Dubious challenge? What the hell is dubious challenge? Whatever, consider it? Yeah, I'd come, I'm considering it right now. I'm going to look up Dubious, because I bet there's one magic card. Yep, there is. Look at the top ten cards in your library. Exile up to two creature cards, then shuffle your library. Target opponent may choose one of them and put it onto the battlefield. Um, this card seems bad. In fact, it is bad. It was terrible when it came out.
I mean, if anyone's going to play a dubious challenge deck, it's going to be Saffron. Hey guys, what's going on? Saffron Olive here, otherwise known as Seth. We're going to play a land. Tap it for mana. Activate my tree, tree speaker. Draw a tree speaker. And then we're going to tap it for mana. Okay. Add two mana. Use two mana to cast this guy. Okay, Flame Slash the Gaddock Teague. Pass the turn. Untap. Play Forest. Play Knight of Autumn. Go up to 19. Pass the turn. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you should totally drop a suggestion for me. That'd be gas. Um, I don't know, man. It's funny. I was in a video. I was in the when I was at the Pro Tour. I was actually in one of the LRR videos. I used to be. I used to be friends with those guys and hang and chat with those guys. Like when I lived in Seattle and. Uh, eh. That's the end of my story. Really, it wasn't great. I like the part of the story that eh. Oh, I love Day 9. Sean is amazing. Sean is actually one of my, like, I, I would say role models, actually, like, as far as, like, how to be uh, in terms of, like, gaming and stuff. It's He's just a fantastic individual. Brian as well. Yeah. Brian and Sean are both... Uh, it's funny because we're in the same industry, right? And we're all around similar ages, but they're Thank both you. they're both definitely heroes of mine. They're both definitely role models of mine. The Gaming Champ. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we won this game. I did not see that coming. Huh. All right, well, at the very least, if we lose this match, we're still we're still going 2-1. I mean, we're 1-2, rather. I mean, it's pretty good. I do love me a good siege rhino. Like if we if we talk about the fact that lightning helix costs two mana, or like even the even the black the black one that's like deal three gain three and it's only only hits players, it still costs two mana. Then this is otherwise a two mana four five, which is pretty nuts. Pretty nuts, McButts. Uh, I'm going to keep this we're on the draw we have first turn second turn and third turn to hit a third land otherwise I'm liking Thalia here so yeah I love Reed to death Reed's a little dry though as far as entertainment goes he's a little uh, he's not excited he's more methodical and what's the word I'm looking for like He's very soft spoken and calculated, right? Like he's not like he's like a mathematician doing doing videos, right? Like and I mean this in no in no disrespectful way. I think Reed is an absolute saint. He's an engineer, not an entertainer. That's a that's a solid way of putting it, yeah. Like you can tell a guy like me, like I don't care if I misplay because I'm just gonna I'm trying to make jokes with you guys. I'm trying to have a good time and entertain and we're having fun, right? And that's the that's the the premise of the stream, I think. Um, that's the that's the priority. Whereas like everyone else, you know, not everyone else, but like some other people might be like, 
hey, you know, my goal is to to play perfectly and show you how to play perfectly or like, you know, to improve your game and I will uh I will, you know, forsake the chat or like be silent during the stream in an attempt to do that. And that's that's fine. That's total that's a way to do it as well. I feel like this deck is just having a, a bad time with black mana. Say I'm the only burbs in her bird. Bird 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 bird. Green. I guess we need a green, huh? Green. Green Robin. Yum. I'm just gonna gain four life. Like anything they anything they hit this with, whether it's lightning bolt or anger of the gods, gonna kill it no matter what. I'm hoping for a land. I'm hoping for a, a black mana. Your doesn't seem to got me into you. I remember the first draft videos I saw. I was cracking up and so happy that there was someone with so much personality creating content. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. I am also happy that you found me because that's great. That's a really, I really appreciate that. I've always loved Frank's content though, even though because even before he knew who I was, he felt like a friend. That's awesome. That's awesome. And now that I know who you are, I'm no longer a friend of yours. No, Jeff is wonderful. Jeff, you are a wonderful part of this community that we built, and I really appreciate you. You the real MVP, Jeff. Thank you. Tippo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. No, welcome. Not welcome back, but welcome. Really appreciate it. I'm so glad I said hey to you in the middle of that's that's so so surreal that you were that one dude that said hey to me in in that one random Philadelphia GP that I went to. That's so funny to me. Mossy Beard, you don't know how you found you don't know, you don't have to know how you found me. Because we found each other. Alright, well. We're hitting things, I guess. Wow, another another anger of the gods. Can I just draw a black land? I feel like this game is not even Yes! <laughs> I got real excited, guys. Uh we have white, 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 green, green. I'm just gonna get an overgrown tomb. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Put a little birdhouse in your little bird soul. Oh man, the TCG player. I was with TCG player for like god, almost ten years. I was like seven years with TCG player. Yeah, I actually did an interview with Sean. This was, ah, oh, that was like seven years. That was like, that was probably like seven years ago. I was with TG for seven, seven years ago. I can actually probably find that. I don't know if I want to though. <laughs> that was a while ago. It was still sweet. It was still a cool, uh, that was a great moment where me and I, I interviewed Sean and uh, it was just cool to chat with him. <laughs> don't date me Frank phrasing <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to look buddy I don't even know you I found you because I love watching cube drafts and absorbed as much of it from YouTube as possible I came for the cube but stayed for the memes also you know that chat in a way funnier and more personal way than most streamers and I appreciate that I uh, when it, see that's a great compliment because I actually try to do that so it's nice that it's like okay this is a successful uh, endeavor that I've been I found the interview <laughs> Oh god, it's so old. I'm like, I mean, this is way. This is the beginning of like OBS and streaming. So like, this is my setup was a lot less sophisticated than it is now. 
Frank reminds me of Michael Scott. That's what she said. I don't hate that because I think Michael Scott is actually hilarious. Um, obviously, he's not trying to be. No, you can link it. That's totally fine. You can link it. I'm going to Assassin's Trophy this guy. Uh, they're going to get two Valakuts. I'm going to Assassin's Trophy it, and they're going to get another mountain, and that's going to be real sad, but... Put a little birdhouse in your other house. Two birdhouses in one house. Wow, 2013. Literally about six, seven years ago. I was not wrong. Put a little biscuit in your brain. A little brain biscuit. So you can play Wiltly Fleege and then they have to block, right? They only have one Valakut, though. The problem is we only have one black source. So again, if we had two black sources, we could actually... I don't like Horizon Canopy. I think you're using your mana too frequently. and I, We've never cracked this, whereas we have wanted more black sources. Um... Like, this deck just has too many black cards. There's eight black cards in the main deck. Seven black cards in the main deck. And then, like, three, four, five, six, seven black cards in the sideboard. We have eight. Was it 11, we said? Uh, I can close this one. Um... Oh my god, yeah, you can totally tell that like I didn't have black hair, or uh, my, my, my beard and my hair were much less gray then. That's hilarious. If we hit this guy, they're taking four. If we play Wiltly Fleege, we're probably taking a million. I think we just have to get rid of this dude. Not to put too fine a point on it. They get a mountain... Three, four, six, seven. How many mountains does this deck run, dude? Yeah, keep in mind that was six years ago. That was 2013, so... And then they just go untap scape shift. I imagine that's what's happening. I mean, we ha we ha we can only deal with the primeval titan, or we can deal with scape shift. We know the primeval titan exists, so we take six from this because we wouldn't block, and then we take another six from. Or they could probably get Valakut and Mountain, so we still take another six from that. So we take twelve from that. We were at nineteen, so we'd go to seven. And then, like, if they had scape shift, we're dead anyway. So right, like, we might as well get the card we know about out of here. I would actually love to be able to cast. If we cast Collective Brutality, now we can probably clear the way and make sure they don't have uh, Scape Shift. We put them to four, and then Siege Rhino could put them to, th to one after that. I mean, if they have it, they have it. Can't really do anything about it. Put a little birdhouse in your soul. Is there a reason you guys aren't putting little birdhouses in your soul right now? Because I'm really, I feel like I'm asking you kind of nicely. I don't know why you'd. Seems like you're just kind of being rude about it. Yeah, attacking with Rhino first could have been sweet, actually. We could have attacked with Rhino if they block. Uh, we can collect a brutality, kill the primeval titan and uh, check their hand. The problem is, like, I want to be able to put them on a clock and kill them with Siege Rhino. I don't know if it's... I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Yep. I mean, they could also have two Titans in hand, or two Scape Shifts in hand. Yeah, the episode from Friday Night Lights where I just pop up with the Molten Vortex deck. Yes, that's exactly it. I was actually in 
uh, an LRR video and I had a funny meme in there, you know? So they just need to get four mountains here. I mean, if they don't have four, they might not have four mountains. There's a lot of mountains in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you have 13 mountains in the deck? I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to auto concede to this. Oh, they could get scape shift too. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yep, that'll do. That will do. <sighs> when did you start streaming on Twitch? Oh God. Um. What does my name say? Uh, it says I created my account in 2012, so not not much longer after that. All right, let's do. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the mana base just a little bit because I am getting a little, a little frustrated. I don't think we need two Gavity Townships. I think that's incredibly greedy. There are a lot of color requirements in this in this deck. Uh, Razor Verge. I don't want a Blooming Marsh because you like a lot of the spells you're casting or like one of the spells you're casting is a four drop. I think I got one Horizon Canopy. Maybe we just want a basic swamp, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. I just want two more black sources so I can actually just. Am I drafting tonight? No, after this, I'm going to go get food. I'm going to be eating. I also kind of. Uh... I also kind of want to have uh what's it called uh you dude your boy um ley line of sanctity somewhere but you know I was hoping to catch a draft I mean like the only options are Ravnica Remix and Ravnica Allegiance, neither of which are super exciting. I feel like you're not missing a tremendous amount. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not really for me to say, though, I guess. But also, like, next week is Cube, so... Oh, wow, our deck is actually great against this, but we don't have Dryad Militant or Gadok Teague or Thalia, so... That's pretty rough. Cloud Sprint. One more one more match, man. You can do it. One more game. 6-2 means... 7-2, you win, right? Put a little birdhouse. Put it in your soul. To be honest, have been liking watching live than on YouTube. Yeah, alright. That's... I appreciate that. That is the goal. The YouTube is for people who missed the stream, you know? For people who can only watch it on YouTube. I always prefer people watching it live, for sure. Oof. What's it better to play? Is it better to play Siege Rhino here? It might be better to just play Siege Rhino here. Yeah, it's definitely better to play Siege Rhino here. Bad, bad family stuff has put me out of work for the last few weeks, and I'm just going to sit down. Llama Goyf, buddy. I'm so sorry to hear that. I will be here tomorrow. We can hang out together. I 
Now we get to put a counter on our bird. Put a little counter on your bird. Not to put too fine a point on it. Put a little counter on your bird. Put a little counter on your bird. From the chat mic family. That sounds like a Christmas card. All the best to you and yours from all from all the chat mics here. Yep, that's fine. That is fine. So if we play Wiltley Fleas, you just have to block, right? Let's do that. We can also play Dryad Militant. Which we might do. Buck ball. You gonna remand this dude? Okay. Maybe I should have played Milton first. Do they still have the block? Four, eight, nine, ten. Now we're definitely playing Milton here. How can he remand? If you don't man the first time, how can you remand? All right, you got two. All your spells go to the graveyard. So you gotta like grape shot. All right, well, you got it. All of these getting exiled feels pretty good, but I mean, I'm always like, well, maybe they're just going to kill me anyway. Not looking good. A lot of flyers. You got this, man. Don't let the flyers win. All these cards are going to the graveyard. You have to have nine, 18 storm count. You're also at one now? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Do 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 Sixty minute man. I'm a do 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 do. I'm a sixty minute man. Yeah, this is nice because the path to exile can just... Alright, I'm just going to exile the Grape Shot. Put two cards into the graveyard. Grape Shot. And... Probably Metamorphose? Because I really don't care what Empty the Warrens here.
I just don't want you to have more spells. So now you have empty and unsub. Oh, we should have gave them. Yeah, unsubstantiate bounces the dried militant. That is a good. That is a good call. Should not have given them that. Eh, what can you do? Ah, oh, well, I think this is it then. Well, that's it then, all right. 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's fine. I mean, Siege Rhino just kills them, right? Bird of Paradise kills them, right? All right, so they're just dead to Bird of Paradise. Okay, <laughs> they figured it out. They figured it out. All right, so bring in this rip. Take out this Thalia, she's not great. Empty the Warrens is cute and all. Take out these Willy Fleeges, bring in Thoughtseize. Collective Brutality seems super good. Path to Exile seems kind of meh. I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't want to path their, their barrel or their other guy. Like, it's fine, but. Dried Militant MVP. Take out Birds. So we have four cards, we can just bring in voice. I don't know if voice is great though. I'll leave in two paths and two voices. I think that's probably fine. Uh, definitely keep. We have Dried Militant and Gadakti and Thalia. Seems good. And they went to six. Yikes. And they're on the play. Double yikes. Double yikes. Double yikes. Gum. That's. Oh, so many Teagues. And the nice thing is if like their hand is like a lightning bolt, then it's like that's one less storm card you have, so it's almost still performing some functional duty against storm. Galaxy looks like a toe. <laughs> Jesus. I mean it's sad because you're not actually incorrect. I don't think you're actually wrong. Uh, one. All right. Go ahead, remand it, I dare you. You didn't remand it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Land. That was nice. Truly something marvelous.
Snapcaster, Blocked Ride Militant, nothing. I'm going to play Anafenza here because if they have like Anger of the Gods, uh, I'd rather have a creature survive. More like Gaddock Toad. Yeah, close. Something like that, sure. Unsubstantiate. Wow, what a bad remand. All right, so now they're going to go land Anger of the Gods, I bet. That's my guess. They're taking two to do it as well. Oh, they didn't. No Anger of the Gods. This is great. This is great news. Two mana Serum Visions. That gets exiled. Legit. Well, now we know Anafenza is definitely safe here. They could have Gutshot, I guess. Uh, white, black, green. More like butt shot. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight damage. Nine, actually, because we get to add a counter. So if they take any damage at all. All right, so that just cancels out the Thalia at the very, the very least. So now we're just going to attack with these two. So taking seven. Man takes everything you got. Also, guys, be sure to check out manatraders.com if you're looking for ways to borrow uh, physical cards. Like you can actually borrow a deck if you want to go to a, a Grand Prix or a Regionals. You can borrow the physical cards. It's a great service. You can also borrow Magic Online cards to test on Magic Online. Manatraders.com and uh, use the promo code and the link that's in the description of either the YouTube video or my Twitch channel. You can check those out and uh, do the do the deal there. Let's gain four. And also you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore where you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And those are definitely super, super comfortable. Super, super comfortable micromodal. Uh, you got underwear. You got lounge pants. You got onesies. You got loungesies. You got one pants. You got tees. You got it all. Definitely check it out. It's a good deal. And it helps support the stream. All these things help support the stream. So if you need these things anyway, if you want a service where you can borrow cards on Magic Online, if, you, if you're going to buy Magic cards anyway, head, up, head over to CoolStuffInc.com, use promo code FRANK5 and check out my articles. If you, if you need new underwear, you can do all these things. Do it, do, it, do it this way. Support your local streamer. I like that all these just cost what they cost. We could have played Gaddict Teague there and played around... Um, Empty the Warrens, but this just doesn't, this doesn't feel like a, it, I mean, it feels like we're in good shape here, especially with Anafenza and Night of Autumn. We, we, we both sort of life total because of the, they're also at three. Oh, they just win the game. Yeah, this deck is pretty sweet. I mean, I think seven one mana creatures might be too many, but the, the other the other creatures in the deck are utterly insane. Uh, Thalia, Gaddock Teague, Knight of Autumn, and Offensa, Siege Rhino, Whitley Fleech. All these cards are great. Um, I would definitely play this if I was playing an event. This is a pretty sweet deck, and it did us well. We went three one with it, I believe, and we only lost to Valakut, which I'm not sure how you actually beat Valakut with this deck. Um, short of like way more thought seizes, but. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to give me a follow or a subscribe either on Twitch or on YouTube. Both those things are great for the stream. And I'll see you guys next time.